Hello friends, welcome back. I just did the one thing everybody says to never do, time traveled in Dreamlight Valley. Quick explanation for those who don't know or basically those who don't play Animal Crossing. Time traveling is when you go into the settings on your Switch and change the time forward, days, months, years, however long you want so that you can progress faster in your game, unlock more items, finish up building development, etc. At this point, it's pretty widely accepted in the Animal Crossing community that a lot of creators do this, including me, but everybody says don't try and travel in Dreamlight Valley because it will completely break your game. So I did just that. Why you ask? Well, I guess curiosity killed the cat and I wanted to know what would happen and I was already kind of considering restarting so that I can go through some of the missions on this channel with you guys. So I can now provide you guys with the answer what happens if you time travel, at least in my experience. Disclaimer, this video is not me telling you to time travel or not to time travel. This is just simply what I experienced when I did it and you might not experience it the same way that I did. You might run into issues that I did not. So if you're gonna do it, do it at your own risk. But this is what happened when I did. Absolutely nothing at first. Everything stayed the same in my valley. It was almost as if I just waited another day naturally. The only things that would not work were the events and the shop. Whenever I tried to open either, it would just say that something went wrong or it wasn't available, except you can still buy moonstones. So not to worry, the microtransactions are still active. Now, while everything basically apart from the shop and events looked normal, the real issue started when I set my clock back to automatic time. By doing this, the shop was active again. I was able to access it, so that was all fixed, but it was other features that started to suffer. First up, none of the fruit on the trees would respawn at all, and none of the rocks would respawn either. But the main issue, the thing that would be really annoying for builds, is the herbs and spices, because they do respawn, but you can no longer pick them up. So they just sit there blocking your path, being useless. You can, however, still pick up flowers or crops that you've planted and grown yourself, but you cannot collect fruit or herbs and spices, basically anything that grows naturally. And you cannot do any mining, so you cannot collect any materials that you need, which is really frustrating. You can still dig up stuff, but that is about it. The other thing is no new night thorns will spawn either so if you are planning on filming a tour or anything and you want to get rid of them then possibly time traveling back in time could be useful for you and not have the unwanted side effects but that's just a thought haven't tested it out don't take my word for it as i said crops that you've planted stay the same except they will not grow if you go back in time and Goofy and Kristoff stalls pretty much the same as well. A lot of the game doesn't really get affected unless you have a particular bug that you run into that I've heard that will stop you from completing a few missions. But I have finished all of mine on this save so I was safe. But if you are thinking about time traveling in your game and you are still working your way through the quest, I would highly discourage trying it until you finish just because I don't know what would happen because I already finished mine and I wouldn't want you to run into a bug that would stop you from progressing in the game. But really the only reason I can think of that you would want to time travel anyway would be for crops to grow faster so that you can harvest them or to skip forward some of those quests where you have to wait a couple days to get to the next part of them. There are ways to get the shop to refresh without having to time travel and it doesn't really provide you any benefit in this game. Not really like Animal Crossing, it's just really an experiment to see how far your game's gonna break. So I would not really do it again and I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do it for any particular reason either. Unless you're like me and just don't like to be told no. If you have already time traveled against advice, all is not lost, do not worry. At least for now, your save might not be broken, you would just have to go forward and backwards in time because your game is stuck at the latest date you time traveled to. This means if you want to access your rocks, fruit, herbs, etc, you are going to have to time travel forward to the latest date you time traveled to. And if you want to access the shop or an event, you are going to have to time travel back to the current date. 
As for the shop, if you don't buy anything and reload the game before the autosave feature kicks in, you will get a new selection of items without having to time travel. From my experience, you can do this as many times as you want to get an item that you're really looking for, like this tangled chair that just showed up in my shop from trying this method. The other thing I find helpful if you are deciding to time travel is take a note of the latest date that you time traveled to so that you can time travel back there whenever you need to collect items or pick up some of those pesky herbs that are in your way. Everything will start respawning again, including the night thorns and the rocks, so you'll be able to do some mining, you'll be able to finish your quests. Pretty much nothing is broken if you've already time traveled, but be aware if you're going to. Once you start, you can't just stop. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions for me about time traveling in Dreamlight Valley, or if you've run into any issues that I have not. I hope this video was helpful, you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments if you would try time traveling in Dreamlight Valley or if you have already time traveled in Dreamlight Valley, did you regret it? Let me know your thoughts below, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!